I want to give you access to what life is like for a player during this time. I want to share with you how we live, how we train, and how we adjust to what I like to call the life of a lockout. Show you the track I'll be listening to. That's the work. That's the workout of choice. You're all from me. Good about you. My name is uh, Sitter Boha, defensive tackle for the New York Jets. Uh, originated from uh, University of Utah. Went to Utah, and originally from the South Pacific specifically Tonga, but representing all Polynesians out there. I think it's the day 66 or 67 of uh, the infamous historical NFL lockout. So currently right now, ain't doing too much, especially ain't doing too much with teammates. You know, yesterday I got a chance to go work out at the gym. Our center was there. I talked with him a little bit. So those are the types of things that we cherish, is being able to be with our teammates. That brotherhood is strong, man. So that's, that's one thing that I miss. We got bench, dumbbell incline, and band for the first set. So just to get the heart rate up, you just keep going and going and going. Shoot, man, so I'm going to pick up the kids right now. Pretty much part of my duty. 212, I always make reference to, you know, what we do last year on a regular term. So right now, I'd probably be done with practice, getting ready to lift, man. But nope, I'm off to pick out the kids from school. What up, Sam? Oh, You're getting too big, dude. How was school? Well, now with the lockout, I, I guess I have a lot of uh, downtime. I pretty much have a, I, I can do a daddy daycare and my wife's taking full advantage of me being here at home, uh, cooking dinner and, and running the kids to school and doing homework, uh, of which I would not have done if we were, we were not in a lockout. You know, it's given me an opportunity to be able to embellish on Bula, which is a beverage drink of mine. Got the chance to kind of get a little bit deeper in the in the Bula business, which is a relaxation drink, and kind of uh, merge into that more and prosper that product in terms of uh, you know getting it out to different places. And actually, one of the good news is we had a, a Bula meeting yesterday. We're get we're set to hit the South Pacific on June 3rd, and uh, you know currently in some some situations where we're going to talk with distributing out to Africa and down to Japan. So you know, a lot of a lot of good exciting things that are happening. Um, you know that since the lock has been out. But overall, you know, I got to stick to my bread and butter, and that's playing, uh, you know, playing football. You got to dance to the song. Ready? I'll do it with you. <laughs> Move your hands too. This morning I got out, had a great time with my daughter, and uh, we made breakfast, man. So, you know, she was whipping her hair a little bit, and, and you know, it's kind of like a daddy-daughter day. And so this morning we kind of cooked some, you know, bacon, eggs, just your standard breakfast stuff. And uh, just to have her walk around and me and her kind of just uh, having a moment together, it was, uh, you know, it was a special thing to have this morning. Since we're not practicing, man, I'll just uh, end up cooking breakfast for today. See if I can make a breakfast of champions. So, say, what's up? What's up? Say, ofatu. All right. If you guys ever wonder what's in my fridge, man. That's pretty much it. The main, if, if, if I were to empty my fridge, but keep maybe three items, this is one of them. Teriyaki sauce. Uh, two more items. The ranch, and the most, and the most, the most essential part of a Polynesian house. <laughs> you gotta go with the mayonnaise. But you can't just go with the mayonnaise, man. You gotta go with the extra heavy mayonnaise. So that gives you the extra flavor and the extra, the extra feel good. I know 
there's a lot of fans out in uh out in the UK, man. So shoot, I want to do a shout out to all the Jets fans in the UK, man. UK voted me the uh, the Jets MVP of last year, man. I feel for the fans, man. And the fans are pretty much the motor behind this empire of the NFL. And they're the ones that make things roll. They're the ones that deserve an NFL season. The fans are the ones that uh, deserve to see us play. The fans are the ones that deserve to be excited right now about the new draft picks they got. The fans are the ones that deserve to uh, cheer and root for their team. So hopefully we work things out. And uh, for us, we'd love to play for the fans. Times Square. So what you doing? Uh, what you doing for the lockout, man? We out here, we out here flying like flies, man. You know. Um, I work as a chef part time now. Uh, at uh, Blue Fit? At Del no, no, no. I'm eating here with my family at Del Frisco. They got me a kitchen, cooking up steaks. So we turn this off. I'd like to welcome you to the concrete jungle, as they call it, man. Again, my name is Senator Boha, defensive tackle for the New York Jets. Thanks for taking this ride with me as I show you around New York, man. So welcome to the city that never sleeps. This is the infamous uh, Times Square, man, where things started in the United States. Time starts every year on New Year's Eve. Pretty much is the crystal ball that you got up there, man. That's when this whole place is packed, celebrates and welcoming a, a new year every year. Starts here in New York. They say estimated millions and millions of people come through the streets of Times Square every single year, man. And as you can tell, things are always happening from the break of the sun to when the sun goes down. Posted a couple tweets. They kind of had some fans come out here, got a special treat for them, man. So uh, I got a surprise for some of the fans. And basically the surprise is going to be I uh, got a little swag bag for them and, uh, you know, an official Boha uh, T-shirt made for them. So the, the first Jets fan that gets here, man, I'm gonna give him two tickets to the home opener, whoever it is. So I'm just waiting for that first person to get here that we tweeted that I'm here. And uh, that first person will get uh, two tickets to the season opener, man. So we'll see who shows up, man. What's up, man? What's your name? Adam. Adam. Adams. Adams. Pleasure to meet you, man. What's your name? Hey, pleasure to meet you. So, yeah, oh, go ahead, man. Oh. We're about the same size, right? <laughs> cool, man. So you, you came all the way over here, huh? Yeah, actually, we're in town from Vegas. Right. Oh, okay. So you down the street. Right. I seen up. your profile. You went oh, to UNLV yeah. and stuff like yeah, that, right? UNLV, man. Okay. I'm going to give you for my own personal allotment, two tickets to the Jets opener. Oh, my. So for you and your fiance. I guess we're flying back out. All right. Oh, so thank you, you so much. You're gonna have Appreciate to come back. Or we can we can do tickets that'll that'll be more feasible for you cool. if you wanted to come to Denver uh, or you, you wanted know, to actually, go to Oakland. Yeah, we got family in Denver. Maybe we'll do Denver. That'd you want to cool. do Denver? Cool. So two tickets to Denver oh, on me. Man, you're the man. All right. Thanks, Does that man. sound? Was it worth it? Oh, it was damn worth it. Hey man, I just want to meet you. Hey. <laughs> hey, how you doing? You're the Good. one that came on the bike, huh? Yes, I am. What's your name? Anthony. Anthony. Nice cool, Anthony. How are you? I appreciate you, man. So how'd you find out about coming here? I'm a Twitter follower, man. <laughs> I, I, I beat you up a couple times, whatever. You get a million, right. so whatever. But how long have you been a Jets fan? Uh, Thirty years. Really? Yeah, man. Most memorable Jet victory. The one against the Pats in the, in the playoffs this year. <laughs> That's that my man. Huge. That was huge. Right? When I they... followed you guys. I went to I went to the playoff game last year in Indy. I was at Indy this year. Right. I was over. I was over in Pittsburgh. Right. Whatever, but. You know, you're my man, man. You, and, you, and, Bob, you and Mike DeVito are like my favorite guys, I appreciate man. it, man. You, Thank you, you really very much. Are. You know, I've reached out. I talked to you on the phone once. Whatever. Like I said, you talked to a million fans. But, right. You know, I like the big boys. That's right? cool. I'm a big boy, and, too. And he so. came here via motorcycle. Motorcycle. I rode in from Jersey City <laughs> in 15 minutes. I was on my couch, watching TV, checked in for the night, <laughs> saw on Twitter he was going to be here. And I'm telling you, 15 minutes from bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, I was not missing it. <laughs> 
my wife. Cool, man. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Where are you from? England. Oh, okay. Twitter had a few fans, and you know, one drove from Jersey City, one came from down the block and stuff that they were here. So it was cool to see the fans' response. Good to see that excitement again because of the, you know, they've been withheld because of the lockout. So it's good to see fans excited again about football. And so that's the reason why we're doing this show, man. That's going back to you, the life of a lockout. Excuse me, sir. Can I get your autograph? Wow. <laughs> how you doing, man? Let me good, get, how are you? Right no, I'm a diehard Jet fan uh, right. in college, but I save up every summer. I'm a season ticket holder. Right. Um, I actually already booked my flight in my hotel for Miami for week 17. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> kind of banking on there being a season because right. uh, I'm going to be in Miami regardless. Right. But, uh, you know, I just I love football. I love, That's cool, I love the Jets. It's, you know, it's. It's different. It's you know I'm a big sports fan. I go to Met games, I go to Ranger right, games, right. Nick games, but football games. It's like it's a whole day experience. You get there right. as soon as the parking right. lot opens, you tailgate. Right. You, know, you meet the same people. Right. Um, you go to your seats. You, get, you tailgate out there. Right. It's, just, it's an event. You know. It's, right. It's football. It's America. It's 12 o'clock midnight here in New York, but like they say, it's a city that never sleeps, man. So basically, when fans want us here, we're gonna be here. Uh, we, we met with fans a little bit earlier today. Uh, around like 10 o'clock, this fan actually came from Queens. So, uh, you know, we came here specifically for him, man. So, whether it's one fan, 100 fans, or a million fans, we'll be here for you.